Up increasing concerns this morning about the safety for a beloved industry in Chicago, street vendors. This morning, an alderman has taken us on a tour in a community where vendors are facing a number of challenges. Roseanne is out there right now. Uh, Roseanne, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Anita. That's right. We're in Little Village. In, on 26th Street, where those vendors have worked for years and they do have concerns about their safety. I'm looking behind me because the alderman is taking a tour. He just set off down the street with some other community leaders to talk to the vendors. They try to keep in close contact with them. Now, as I mentioned, the vendors have been here for years selling products like tamales and corn and food and other snacks, but increasingly they have become the target of thieves and they're frightened. And so, once again, and the community has stepped in to help to a degree. They have been out here um, offering a second set of eyes to make sure that the vendors are safe this morning. Alderman Cicho Lopez spoke about some of the improvements the vendors have, the improvements that the vendors have seen, but also one of them, through a translator, spoke about the feeling of fear they sometimes face. Some of them have been uh, violent robberies where many of the street vendors have gotten hurt. In one instance, the son of one of the street vendors was hurt, um, and, and it turned into something that was very violent. And so to him, that's where it's been scarier uh, because they don't know at one point this could occur and if it will continue to occur. I think under previous administration, there was, um, you know, Unfortunately, not a climate where we can even communicate and talk. I think that's the biggest, cha that's the biggest change. Now, that was the alderman addressing the improvements that he says are due to more communication between, for example, the Public Safety Committee of the City Council, the alderman, and the residents. Now, another big issue that they talked about was licensing. Uh, we talked to one vendor who's been here for 17 years who is now facing challenges trying to get the proper licensing. The requirements have been stepped up. And he was just talking about the difficulty, for example, uh, in selling corn. The public health department is talking about having to package that in plastic. And this is something that hasn't been done before. There's concerns about litter and more plastic and that kind of thing. Um, so they still have a lot more to communicate, but they are able to continue selling their products as they work this out. And as one of the vendors point out, they are also continuing to pay their taxes. In Little Village, Roseanne Teas, Fox 32, back to you.